Hi ladies and gentlemen, I know I've been gone for quite a long time, but as I had um, been talking with y'all, I told you I was busy um, sculpting um, this baby here, and this is all that is left of the sculpture is the baby's head. Um, and I did go ahead, and I'm going to talk about, I did pour four silicone babies of, from the sculpture and from the mold. And this is entirely um, my creation. I sculpted um, the baby into clay, and then I made the mold from the sculpture, and I poured um, silicone in the mold to produce the babies. So we're going to talk about them real quick. This is, like I said, what is left of the sculpture because I don't know if you're familiar, and I mounted it on this little wood, uh, I guess, little wood disc here. So that's the only thing left, because when you go, when you take the um, clay sculpture out of the mold for the first time, um, it actually, oh my gosh, every single time I do a video, my husband calls. It's amazing to me. Um, anyway, he, when you take the sculpture out, the clay sculpture out of the mold for the first time, um, it breaks the uh, it breaks the sculpture is the best way to say it. It comes out in pieces. So this is what I have left the head, and I'm glad I was able to save the head. But here is the actual mold. It's two part two molds. Here is the um, clay. I mean the clay. Here is the dragon skin mold. And what you do is you paint this dragon skin it's a thicker silicone you paint it onto the sculpture like this and um that and then you then you take this clay sculpture out of the of the mold so um this is what you have and you can see the baby's face in here so there is the dragon skin um mold which is called the glove mold because it's sort of like a glove i suppose not sure why they call that then you put around that you put what they call the mother mold and it's a hard lightweight plaster very durable and that sits you know the glove mold sits in there this isn't exactly how it would go but you put a rubber band around there but you get the idea and there's a date and thomas says that's thomas okay and then you pour when you're ready i'm trying to do this with my hand sorry you pour the silicone that would be like this um, you pour the silicone in the top there. So that, I just want to show you kind of that. Anyway, so you go from the sculpture to the glove mold. You make the glove mold. Then you make this mold, the mother mold, the hard mother mold. Then you pour the silicone in there. And this is what you produce. So I have four babies, silicone babies that I produced out of this mold. And here he is. And actually... Um, like most sculptors do, the baby is, um, the original mold is made to be a girl, has a gender of a girl, and then if the person adopting wants a boy baby, I make a separate mold, a tiny little separate mold, for the boy part. So that's what I did. So if anyone wants this baby as a boy, I add on the boy part over top of the girl, and it's fairly seamless. You don't see anything. You just see the, the, the um, boy bits. Or the girl bits. Okay, so here's one of them. This is one that I produced for a um, a, a, a local friend, and it was actually made after this. The sculpt was made after her son. So she had all the um, she had all the uh, I guess you would say she wanted to talk. She wanted she let me know about what she would like the baby to look like. And so she approved everything on this baby. So that's her copy of the baby. Um, this is, let's see, who is this one for? No, I don't remember. This one is for my bestie. And this one came out a little bit like clearish looking. So that actually would be more in um, realism, more realistic to a baby at the size. This baby is, is to be, it's 24 weeks. Um, size that's how the baby would be and we're having all kinds of interruptions today now my dogs are barking this always gets me I spend I haven't made a video in several weeks and so when I go to make one then there's all of this happening um, anyway here is 
the third one. Um, this one is for a dear friend who is going to be my prototype artist. And um, she is going to paint this baby. You need to check the door, Sydney. She's going to paint this baby, so she will be my prototype artist. Excuse me, let me shut this door. I am so sorry. Like I said, it amazes me. I haven't made a video in weeks, and I'm getting all these interruptions while I'm making it. Um, so this is the baby, and my dear friend is watching, so she knows who I'm talking about. She's going to be um, my prototype artist. She will paint um, one version of this baby, and I will paint the other ones. And she's going to feature this baby on her channel. So if people want to order a baby, they can um, talk to her and get with me and her. And we will get a baby out to you. And you can see, I don't know what exactly happened, but they're not perfect. But on this one, you can see um, um, something happened there. And it made a little uh, a dent or gash over the baby's eye. That can be easily fixed. So I will fix that. Because this is the next round I'm doing. They do have some flaws even coming out of the mold. Because um, it's quite an ordeal to get the babies out of the mold. I'll talk about that another time. But anyway. Um, so after this step. The general step of taking them out. Washing them. You have to make some silicone repairs. So that will be one of the repairs. But it will, won't be hard. Um, it will be covered up. And you won't be able to tell. And then this one. This is my baby. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sli he's slightly darker skin tone. He's more of a little bit of an ethnic skin tone that I poured him in. And that's done by when you um, basically get the silicone for the certain baby to pour in the mold. You can add more color, more tint, and um, that's why you see the different colorations. So I'm trying to see if you can see all the different colorations. So... There they are. So I just wanted to share these babies with you, what I've been doing for the last several weeks. And besides that, you know, life comes and there's, I've got some serious, um, maybe some life changes going on, um, possibly. But, you know, I'm trusting in God and I know that whatever happens, um, he's going to be with me and he's going to lead me forward. So what I'm trying to say is life has been going on too, as y'all know. I'm sure y'all familiar with that because everybody has life, our lives to live. And there's a little piggy that I poured with some of the extra. I poured a little piggy. So here's a little piggy with the extra silicone because you don't want to waste silicone because it's so expensive. So I guess I can show the movement. I'm going to try to show the movement a little bit. It's Ecoflex. These are in Ecoflex 20. I don't use any slacker. I'm not used to using slacker, so I don't do that. So, um, I mean, they're pretty floppy. So you can see they're pretty floppy. She's waving. And I like the details on his little hands. He's waving. So you can see the floppiness. I'm trying not to show the parts. Let me pull one up here. You can see. And so if I'm not poor, these four right now are like I said, or they're spoken for, and there is a seam on the back. That will be fixed. I know it looks bad right now, but it will actually be fixed because you fill that in. You fill the seam, the seam in. Um, so they will be fixed. I just want to show you the floppiness of them. They're pretty floppy. See, their arms are like little noodles at this size. But they're again, this is true to size of a 24-week gestational baby that's still in the mama's belly. And actually, they've had babies now survive if they're born too early. Um, at 21 weeks, they're 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 able to survive with, of course, a lot of medical intervention and help. But this would be the size of a 24-week baby. And um, when they're finished, they weigh, I believe, 2 pounds um, and 2 ounces. And they are between 12 and a half and 13 inches. His little... Oh, oh my goodness. We didn't see that. Let's pretend like we didn't see that. They're, um, I kicked his baby's foot and his little privacy shield fell off <laughs> so there we go um hopefully that's not gonna be a problem but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video i just wanted to show you what i've been working on got lots of babies here so if you're interested i probably won't pour any more for a little while but um because i want to get these painted up at least three of them painted and the other one will be going to my prototype artist this one 
Wait, yeah, this one will be going to my prototype artist and friend. The other three I will be painting myself, and there's the other three are spoken for also. Um, but if you're interested in getting one of these in the future, um, painted or blank, let me know. It just kind of like give me a little comment there um, for the future so I can know, you know, if there's any interest. And these will be coming with um, an official um, COA that, I, that will be produced along with them. So I will talk to you later. Um, stay safe and stay blessed. And I appreciate each and every one of you.